Welcome back to the show. When our next guests became foster parents, they learned about so many sad stories about children who were rejected by their families and had nowhere to live. That's right. They knew they had to do something more to help our city's LGBTQ teens. So they made it their mission to create a safe and welcome environment. And last week, Brad and Nick Schlikowski, co-founders of Courage MKE, had the ribbon cutting for the Courage House. And we're so excited to have them here today. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks Hi, guys. for having us. This is pretty great. So explain a little bit about what the Courage house is and exactly what you do and why a safe place is so necessary. Well, Courage House is a home um, for displaced LGBT youth. Um, you know, we have in our city there, right, as of last Wednesday, there was 680, uh, 85 teens ages 13 to 1, uh, 13 to 21 in out of home care, which could be a group home, foster care, treatment facilities. Um, and of that, um, 125 identify as LGBT. That's on top of the 200 that we can identify on the street that are actually homeless without a home to sleep on. What's going on? Why, mm -hmm. why are these kids, why don't they have a place to sleep at night? Um, some of it's rejection from family, like straight out rejection because of who they are. And some of it's um, neglect. Some of it's um, family issues or their issues, runaway. Um, it's a plethora of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is Courage MKE? Uh, we are a nonprofit that when we started, it was to raise awareness of this issue in our city. You know, we are in the foster community. Uh, we didn't know the need for foster care. And then we started to dig into this need to support these children specifically. And we would just open, open, read a, read a passage. And then it just kept going and going and going. And that's when we need knew we needed to do something more. I know the two of you as a couple have children. Mm -hmm. um, do you, have you fostered children here in the community who are displaced? Yes, actually that's kind of how this, how Courage started in, in the first place is that uh, we uh, started as foster parents. We fostered our daughter who we eventually adopted. But during that process, we also fostered teenagers um, who were displaced based on who they were. Um, and it was just a really eye-opening experience. And the stories that we heard from them right to us were really, really heartbreaking and some things you can't even imagine. And when we realized that was the thing that was happening in our own backyard, we were shocked. Yeah. And we said, we have, to we have to do something about this. I don't think people know yeah. what's going on. Were both of you blessed to have accepting families? Yes, yes. very lucky. I, I think that's, some, uh, that's a gift, you know, yep. that parents Absolutely. and families and friends can give someone is to accept them for exactly who they are, Absolutely. no matter who they are. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I think, um, you know, finding a place that people can go that feels safe and, and secure is so important. The Courage House, what will that do? How many people will that house and how will people find access to what you're providing? Um, we'll house uh, five, five youth a night. Um, and we'll, we'll have contracts with um, local agencies and, and, and Milwaukee's Child, Protect, uh, Child Protective Services. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll get referred at this facility. Um, we have some pretty big goals uh, for more around the state, but right now we're gonna focus on hiring our staff and getting this one open. I bet they're thrilled that you guys are offering a place for these teenagers. Um, they are thrilled. Um, and from what we know, um, they're encouraging us to keep going within the 27 counties. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. What I think is wonderful about what you do is not o only giving these um, teens up to 21 a, a safe place to stay, but any child who comes to the Courage House as a resident will have access to things like counseling, mm -hmm. employment readiness and placement, life skills, health care, and what I love is also fun. Uh, absolutely. Um, these children have been neglected. Um, the experiences a normal child gets with their parents um, granted, we have rules and regulations we have to follow, but we want to build a family experience so that when they leave, they're prepared to maybe one day start their own family and know what it's like to have that unconditional support from the staff that we have working there. I That's love great. that. How can the community help? If people want to get involved, they want to be a part of this issue and really help these kids, how can they be a part of Courage House? Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of ways. One, uh, volunteering. Uh, we always love volunteers. Uh, that's a great, great way to do it, of what course. What do volunteers do with you guys? Um, well, with the Courage House, there was a lot of uh, painting. Okay, okay good. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Is it part of getting the house ready? A lot of physical yes. labor. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We definitely worked our volunteers uh, very, very hard, and then they did an incredible job. Um, volunteering is a big one for us, and you can fill out a volunteer form right on our website at CourageMKE.org. Okay. Um, but also donations would be great. Uh, we are so blessed to have the community that literally set up the Courage House for amazing success, and we are overloaded 
with household products, so that's cert so, um, not something that we're currently looking for. We have okay. lots of basements. Good. We could probably fill about six kitchens at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're very blessed in that, in that <laughs> regard, but we're looking for gift cards is, is for things like um, educational experiences, museums, the zoo, things like that. that Grocery really store. Grocery stores, Groceries. things like that that we'll be okay. able to use physically with the kids uh, in the future. It does, does someone cook for them mm -hmm. while they're, they're staying there so their meals are provided? And we have like around-the-clock staff seven days a week, and the children will be part of that because that's teaching them that life skill, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, don't, uh, they don't know how to make rice. Let's teach them how to make a full-out dinner. We have yeah. chefs across the city willing to jump in and help teach them. And most of them are in school. So what about transportation? How, what about getting to a, a job or to, mm -hmm. to school? We, um, we have our staff will be driving them. Um, right now we're working on getting a 15-passenger van. Um, so again, that takes additional funds, yeah. right? Um, but it will either they'll go to an actual school by bus or we'll drive them or they'll go in school in the back house because we have two houses on the property. Nice. Very cool. Good for you guys. Great stuff Thank you guys you. are doing. Wonderful. It's so wonderful to see this come to fruition. Yeah. Absolutely. We've talked about it. I know your needs are still great um, and, and somewhat specific, but there are a lot of different ways that people can help with their time as well as their um, talents and their money. So CourageMKE.org is the website to find out more um, about the Courage House as well as ways that you can help uh, teens right here in our community. Great to see you guys again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. much.